Yo, what's up everybody? We are back with a brand new video out here in Lake Las Vegas in the city of Henderson in a new neighborhood that they just broke ground a couple months ago. Alta Fiari by Woodside Homes. They actually have a total of six models that you can pick from. They have collections one, two, ranging anywhere from 350,000 all the way up 450,000. Let me know what your thoughts are about this community. Also, don't forget we have some new merch right here, cash flow for the young entrepreneurs out there. It's all about working hard, building multiple streams of income. So get your cash flow shirts today in the link in the description below. We have one, two, three, four, four models. So if you come on out here, uh, meet up with Michael, cool dude, cool sales guy. He'll definitely help you out. I have a cash flow t-shirt right here. It's gonna be in one of these models. I'm gonna put in one in the kitchen drawer. So if you want your free cash flow shirts today, come on out here to the models in Lake Las Vegas. Yo, 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 what's up, my people? This is Chuck, it's Chris Watt with Simply Vegas, your Las Vegas realtor. All right, let's check out this plan number five by Woodside Homes here. And this thing is pretty gorgeous. I I'm liking it. Now, this home is a two-story home, and it is... 2,281 square feet and you do have an option to upgrade the floor plan to 2,538 square feet you have an option anywhere from three to five bedrooms on this one you do have a bonus room a flex room a courtyard and also a cover patio you also have an option for a three car tandem so I, I think that's where um, the 2500 drops down to the 2200 if you did the three car I'm sorry if you got got rid of the uh, tandem car garage so normally this right here would probably just be all rock right here you wouldn't get all this stuff with the uh, the base price now there's three elevations that you can pick from the uh, elevation starts off at 405 99 or 400 5990 dollars all the way up to 413,990 and 90 dollars so it looks like uh, this model right here is the 2360 model 2360 model let me see here what what is going on I may have gave you guys the wrong information no actually I didn't this piece of paperwork said it was 2281 I don't know I don't know but this is a nice this is cute I'm liking this these are nine foot ceilings you have your standard texture. Now I can see from this model versus the other model that we just looked at, um, there are some uh, upgrades and this one doesn't have that many upgrades. This is a standard baseboard that looks like. You have your standard texture. Remember we talked about this. With these this type of orange peel texture, this allows the builder to hide uh, blemishes or textures on the wall. Now, if you did more of a Santa Fe or uh, a straight uh, edge on the uh, texture, it's going to be harder to hide the same. So uh, we have bull nose on the cornering here. So it looks like we have a bedroom downstairs. So let's check this out. HOAs are $139 a month. There are 100 and I think 83 lots according to the sales agent. There's no SIDS and LIDS here. Wow, this is pretty interesting. This is a closet, walk-in closet that actually has a, a slide on it. Hmm, interesting. Never seen this before. Normally a closet like this would have a, a door and you would do a walk-in closet. This room, I think it's a little bit bigger than 13 by 12. However, uh, keep in mind, if you want more information on this home, 
click on the link in the description below. This right here indicates that that this window has an alarm system, so if it opens up, it will uh, alert the system. These are dual pane windows with a low Eon gas inside. And also these windows are has a slight tint to them as well. Uh, make sure to read the limited warranty on those windows. You don't want to tint the windows or you also have to find out what type of uh, window coverings uh, you can put on there so that way you don't void the warranty. So we have our half bath here. Uh, this is very unique. Um, you have a toilet here, but then you have this that's open here. I'm not understanding that, but okay. It is a little bit tight, but this is be for the guest anyway, so it doesn't matter. So it looks like we have some Petrofina here, which is really nice. Uh, Petrofina countertops is basically um, recyclable uh, stone. Now, I don't know if you guys can see this edging right there. You see this? I don't know if you guys can see that. Just remember, when you guys do your final walkthrough, one of the things that they'll tell you in your final walkthrough, even the windows too as well, once you sign off on it on that day, you, they're not going to fix it. So like this, you need to run your finger all the way across, okay? Also underneath here too as well. So that way they can fix it. If if you sign off on it, they won't fix it on the final walkthrough. So we've got some cabinet space right here, which is cool, like that. And you got your shower. I noticed the um, ceilings here are eight f are eight feet in here, but outside are nine feet. Okay. Hmm. Now. This is not bad for 2,300 square feet. However, um, I've noticed what they did to make this home appear a lot bigger than this living room. They got a smaller couch here and a smaller table. Man, I got fooled, didn't I? Now, I do like the um, engineering flooring here. This is a, a laminate floor, which is really nice. You know what, a lot of people are starting to do that um, laminate flooring, the wood flooring. Well, I love the cabinet series. So you have the 42 with your double stacks. Now th this looks really nice on the nine foot ceiling where you do 42s on the cabinets and the double stack, but you make sure it goes all the way to the top. It just looks more clean that way. I mean, look at that. Love the backsplash. Oh, this backsplash is going to get damaged though. I mean, look how porous this is right here. Once you get grease all back here, ooh, that's going to be hard to clean. But would I still buy something like that? Oh, hell yeah, because it looks nice. So it looks like we have um, cook countertop here on the top. So it looks like these are just your standard cabinets here. So these standard cabinets, you have your staples. And this is what normally comes with it. However, can you actually upgrade these cabinets? Yes, you can. So don't think you're going to get it for this price. Damn, at least they threw a Blanco sink in here. This sink right here is about $900, depending on which developer or builder you go to. You got your GE uh, dishwasher. Some of these dishwashers now, man, is pretty cool. Check this out. It spins over here. Some of these you can like detach these pieces and drop them and make them bigger or longer so that way you can, you know, fit like certain things. Washer and dryer not included to sell this transaction. Also the refrigerator. Uh, you have your oven here and your built-in microwave. So this would be your pantry. And this is kind of like your butler's pantry. You see how much of a difference it makes with those lights underneath? I love that. That's actually the staircase right there. So let's take a look at this pantry here. Uh, pantry's a pretty decent size here. It's not bad. Here's your two-car garage. 
Now remember, with the two-car garage, according to code, um, it will actually have this hinge here, right? And the door has to automatically close, and the door has to be a fire, a fire door. Uh-oh. Somebody got a canoe or kayak. So this is the uh, tandem car garage. So what it looks like here, if you went with the 2,500 square feet, this wall would have came all the way up to here. Then you would have another room here, I believe. The floors have been epoxied here. Uh, this is probably an upgrade with this builder. This is your sprinkler system. Make sure to have the fire department check it uh, once uh, a year. This right here, oh man, they did a great job right here on the supply line. You got the two shutoff valves. This is your pressure uh, pressure valve right here. Uh, normally, I've seen on the inspection, it's anywhere from about, I think, 40 to 60 pounds per square foot. Uh, do not adjust that, okay? Have a plumber deal with it. And you're, if you're buying a brand new home, you're probably gonna wanna use the same plumber that actually um, did the home here. So this one, the plumber here, is Focus Plumbing. Now, I'm starting to notice that the company Focus Plumbing and Focus AC, they're starting to do a lot of contract deals with a lot of builders. Your uh, tankless water heater, or your instant water heater, whatever you want to call it, uh, normally it's set to the max at 120. Also, if you adjust this too as well, uh, you could also avoid that warranty. Okay, so this right here is your for your alarm, but it looks like it's been ripped off or something. I love the fact that they put a window inside this uh, garage. Here's your 24 volts for your kosher lights outside. Or coach lights. Did we look in here? I don't know, because I don't remember. Oh yeah. So your laundry room is downstairs. So we have your sink pre-plumbed, right, for structural, and you did the cabinets here. This would be a two-part upgrade. Also, this is all an upgrade right here. You have a electric, I'm sorry, gas dryer, okay? And could you actually opt out for an electric dryer? Yes, you can, but it definitely will cost you. Here is your uh, box for your alarm system. You know what, did we go outside? Yeah, we didn't go outside yet. Now, this looks to be a 12 foot slide, aluminum. This is an almond color. Now, some builders will allow you, um, during the design studio, to pick which color option that you want. Uh, you can go white, almond, some of them could be black or aluminum, however, that's gonna cost you. But if you did the, uh, white, the white color, you need to make sure that the interior of your home uh, matches. So you gotta kinda think forward as far as what you're gonna be painting. And also what the exterior is gonna look like too as well because like this almond really matches the exterior here, but if you put black, or bright white, um, it would just pop the windows and you might not like that. So it looks like the uh, lot size on here about 4,500 square feet. You got those uh, Spanish tiles. I don't really care too much for those Spanish tiles. I feel like they're, they're starting to get like outdated. Well, you know what, it's just a personal preference. It doesn't mean it's bad, you know, it's all about style. Like, I, I like more the, you know, the straight edge, traditional type of um, roof tiles. So we got two AC units right there. So CR Air is the one that handled the insulation on here. You're probably gonna have to pay for this upgrade on this cover patio. Now this is a little bit unique where uh, the stairs is in the middle of the house and you have a landing, which is, I think it's kind of cool. It's, it's kind of tucked away. So we have a coat closet here. So let, let's go upstairs. Let's see how many steps we have before we hit the landing. Let's count it out. One, two, three, 
four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So we got ten stairs before we hit a landing. Ooh, I love how they open this up. This better not be an upgrade. If they charge you for this, I mean, just this little small stair uh, rail right here. Oh, hell no. Don't tell me they charge you for this. I don't think they would, but probably a pony wall goes here, and you would have to pay for that upgrade. That's a two-piece um, upgrade, structural, then cosmetics at that point. So this is a loft here. So it looks like, what did I say? Up to what? Five bedrooms, right? So we got, what is this? One. Ooh, this is interesting. One, two, three, four downstairs, right? Oh, and that could have been another bedroom. Okay. So we'll start off here. This is kind of interesting. So I guess this is where your... mother-in-law would go but I don't see you putting your father or your mother-in-law up here just do the fact that when they get a little bit older they're probably not gonna want to walk up and down the stairs right but that's what this looks like or this could be for you know your older kids where they just they're not leaving the house so you got a refrigerator here that's not included under mounted sink now all the things that you do see here, I'm going to tell you right now, this is all an upgrade. This should just be completely open, okay? So you would have to do the pre-plumb upgrade. You would have to pick a sink upgrade. You'd have to do the countertops. You would have to do the uh, cabinets. You'd have to do the electrical, right? You'd have to do the cabinets on top of here as well, okay? Not only that, while you're doing that, you're going to have to pick your cable outlets as well. And your ceiling fan pre-wire may not even come with it. And the lights that you do see here are not included. Okay. Also the flooring would be carpet. But what I will do is in the link in the description below, I will give you the measurements of all the flooring and also what's included. Okay, let's take a look at here. Love the high cabinets here, undermounted sink. Love this Petrofina. Petrofina. Yes. Uh oh, somebody's calling me. I'm home. All right, so we've got the thermostat right here. Coming out to the living room. So we have a nice loft area right here. So again, remember, keep in mind this could have been an option, uh, another bedroom. It'd be a little bit tight, I would say. Now, coming into the bath. So this bath has a 36-inch um, uh, vanity with two undermounted sinks, which is really nice. Get your frameless mirror and your medicine cabinet. And you got your subway tiles all the way up to the top. Okay. There we go. All right, so we have another bedroom. This bedroom looks to be a little bit bigger than 13 by 13. Oh, how interesting is this? You have two windows here, one on each side. These are all nine foot ceilings. Now, I know I mentioned this before. You can't have 10 foot ceilings and a 6-8 door. It would not um, make any sense. If you have a 10 foot ceiling, make sure you get 8 foot doors. And 
And if you have a nine foot ceiling, it's okay to get a seven, eight door. Now, if you have a nine foot ceiling with a eight foot door, that just doesn't look right to me. So like, for instance, look, this is a six, eight door, nine foot ceiling. Now, if it was a eight foot ceiling, it would go all the way up to like right about there. This is a good 15 by, I would say 18. I mean, uh, maybe 15 by a little bit bigger than 15, I guess. But I'm going to tell you, did you guys just hear that earlier where somebody was like, hello? And I answered back. But it seems like it's kind of creepy. It's creepy. Why was it was like a ghost or something, right? Hmm. Sometimes I'll come into like these um, bigger homes that are like 7,000 square feet. You know, I'm doing like video tours of them. And you look down the hallway, it's just like quiet. And as I'm walking, I'm looking down the hallway. It just feels like very eerie. Some of these homes, man, they, they just creep the shit out of me. But you know, I, I do the video tour because of you guys. <laughs> now, I do love this shower. This is definitely an upgrade. Structural, then also cosmetics. Also, one thing that I want you to ask, if you upgrade your cabinets downstairs in the kitchen, make sure if they're all upgraded, as well as it included into the price, because some builders won't do that. Also, you want to make sure your cabinets are all 36 inch cabinets that's one thing that you should be doing with the cabinets so that way um, you want to make sure well I guess the reason why you want to do that so that way you can retain the value of your home that's like one of the good upgrades maybe I'll put a list together as far as what upgrades that you should do to increase the value of your home all right, let's, let's go downstairs and let's finish up on this video. And let's see if somebody was actually down here. I don't know if you guys caught that on the audio. Well, let me know what your uh, thoughts are in the comments below about this property. If you can see yourself living here. Other than that, uh, if you haven't uh, subscribed to this channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Other than that, I really do appreciate each and every one of you guys. Thank you so much. From the bottom of my heart, I'm Chuck. It's Chris Watt with Simply Vegas. And have a blessed day. I got crabs. I got crabs. I got crabs.